Sometimes when doing what-if analysis, you have a particular outcome in mind, like a target sales amount or growth percentage. When you need to do this type of analysis, you use Excel's Goal Seek feature to find the input values to get the desired goal. To use the Goal Seek feature located on the What If Analysis button's drop-down menu, you select the cell containing the formula you want. In the Goal Seek dialog box, this cell is referred to as the Set cell. Then indicate the target value you want the formula to return as well as the location of the input value that Excel can change to reach this target. Let's say you want to find out how much sales must increase to realize first quarter net income of $225,000 in a sales forecast table. First, select cell B7, which contains the formula that calculates the forecast for the first quarter of 2014, and then click Data, What If Analysis, Goal Seek. The Goal Seek dialog box opens. Notice the Set Cell text box already contains the cell reference B7. Then, click in the Two Value text box and enter 225,000 as the goal. Click By Changing Cell and click Cell B3 to enter the absolute cell address in this text box. Click OK to adjust the sales figure to reach your desired income figure. Here, Excel increased the sales in cell B3 from $250,000 to $432,692.31, and that returns $225,000 as the income in cell B7. The Goal Seek Status dialog box lets you know that it's found a solution and that the current value and target value are now the same. When this isn't the case, the Step and Pause buttons become active, and you can have Excel try to narrow and ultimately eliminate the gap between the target and current value. If you want to keep the goal-seeking values, click OK to close the dialog box. If you want to return to the original values, click Cancel.